Well, good morning. It's Thursday and welcome to our daily prayers. Um, we've had this photo sent in of, I'm told, because I'm not that good at flowers. This is witch hazel, which is budding very early. And I guess we'll appreciate, although it has been cold, the winter itself has been relatively mild. Well, here's a lovely forerunner of spring. So as we come to the Lord together now, so we pray. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. The night has passed, and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and for ever. Amen. So we're just looking at the one verse in uh, Luke chapter 6, verse 31. Jesus sort of sums up the golden rule. Do to others as you would have them do to you. This is often quoted as something that Jesus said. And I think we would all agree with it. Yes, do to others as they you would have them do to you. It's an ethic shared not just by other major religions, but also by just many other people, whether they are faith people or not. It seems obvious and human that that is how we should behave. The thing is, it's difficult to do in practice. We might agree with this ethic, but actually, unless we've got the strength to live it out, it's much, much harder. And the Christian faith gives us just that. Think, for instance, of the fruit of the Holy Spirit, of love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness and self-control. These things help us respond well um, to other people in kindness and patience, as we would want people to respond to us in, for example, kindness and patience. So we're not just approving of this ethic, we have the capacity to do it, and it's by God's help. So maybe today, as we pray, we could pray that we would remember how we come across to others and treat them as we would wish to be treated. It's another way of looking at things, isn't it? To think how we are perceived by others and how we can support and encourage them in their lives. Let's pray now. And Father, help us to be the sort that other people are glad we're around, that they see patience and kindness and support and um, many, many good things coming from us. So Father, give us that mindset, but most of all, Holy Spirit, give us the strength to live this out within our lives. Perhaps we picture one person we might come across today in our normal lives. What could we do to encourage them? A space for our prayers now. And so as our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. And so may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all, now 
and forevermore. Amen.